Yep, 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 yep. And of course, just jumping right next in, into our, our next match. Oh, we're going S back down to winner's quarters. Oh. Okay, I was gonna... Cool. That makes sense, because SC God is playing uh, two different games. He's playing, mm, he's uh, playing uh, Eunice. And Eunice, that's right. So he probably just got him from Eunice. Nia to still play this match on screen. And yeah, here we are. So yeah, we're gonna be getting Shulk versus Luigi. I know Elegant, not a fan of this matchup. From the way he's been playing Nico, although when uh when we did see both of them play, it, like, did he go to Smash? That's yeah, he went to Smash, which is actually like the worst one to be in. That was actually that was the worst Monado to go. That to. had to have been a misstep, but there's no way he wanted that. Well, he couldn't go to Shield because Shield yeah, Shield ran out. Yeah, I think maybe he tried to like cool it down, or uh, just go into like a neutral Monado. No way he's dead. Oh, great! Great two frame on the down. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that was really good. Again, yeah, elegant. You never count out elegant in this firing. <laughs> yeah, elegant not liking this matchup. Like, oh my god, he's so far away. There's no way he's gonna make it back. He doesn't have any resources. Oh, misfire. Okay, it's good. Yeah, he absolutely <laughs> commands misfires. <laughs> like you think you think they're just random, but he's like, okay, we're gonna do it now. I'm pretty sure they can summon them. They just have to. You like, have to be a Luigi man. You have to be a Luigi man. You have to like put in a certain amount of resources. Kind of like spend some some clout, just like that. That up, you sit nowhere. But back there, probably gonna take it and smash I, art. Smash art again. I think SD God, what actually, are you thinking? Yeah, smash art is working against SD God. Yeah, because he was able to use shield art for the uh, for the uppy, and you think he tried to go over to smash art to like try to get a punch, but he was too slow and ended up dying for it. So right now, SD God's making some questionable decisions uh, art wise. But that bear, wow, that almost killed him like 60%. Oh, okay. down air, gonna take down. it. That's right. So but let's see. Let's see if SD God switches over to Smash Art and dies too early again. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. As long as he doesn't switch to Smash Mode, he no might way. Be okay, okay that, that's there's no way that was real. It looked really real. Okay, let's see. Now we're getting kind of mad. Is that Shine's Pro Controller? Wait, was that Shine's Pro Controller? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but. I think someone said that Shine is already playing. Yay, it was found. Hooray. <laughs> All right, good to know. Uh, Another good feed done by G5. Hooray. They fly the goat. Yeah. All right, so Elegant now going over to Diddy Kong. Not. I know I know he like plays other characters. I wasn't expecting the Diddy Kong as a pick. Again, uh, I do feel like Luigi struggles against Shulk and his range and the fact that he can just like nullify a lot of Luigi's combos with his art. So switching over to Diddy Kong, a character we don't really see much in Smash 4 these days, just because after the nerfs. Oh, oh boy, the nerfs. <laughs> <laughs> or not the nerfs, but like the changes. Okay, well, I mean, so far, uh, Elegant's making Diddy work. I'm actually not that big of a fan of Diddy in this game. I feel like if you're gonna commit to Diddy, you might as well just play Inkling. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what a lot of Diddy players did. They either <laughs> stayed with Diddy because they were uh -oh. like they really liked the character, or again they did play. Uh, uh, yeah. They did they do play Inkling because Inkling does what Diddy wants to do but better. Yeah, of course you know because the biggest tool like that Diddy has, of course, is like the forward air. Mm. Inkling has that. Nair can be able to combo. We have uh, a spectral that gives them movement and distance. That they're able to keep out of, so yeah, a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. But Inkling doesn't have a banana. That's true. He doesn't have a whole neutral in a in a single move or in a single item. Oh wow, that was such a good back air coming in from Elegant. So he's finally gonna take this first stock off. SD got 51%. Not too bad of a deficit. But again, as soon as uh, as soon as he's getting thrown, he's going into that shield out. I don't know where who you think you're coming, but it can't be me. Oh, he sees the future, but he saw nothing. That was a really, really greedy counter for him. I'm really not liking the way SD God's been managing his arts. Like, when he's in kill percent, he'll actually be in smash art, or when he's uh, taking a lot of damage, he'll stay in a buster art. So, like we saw here, he was in buster, and he ended up taking so much damage, and Elegant actually gained the lead from that. I mean, buster, that's just the double-edged sword that buster art brings. Of course, when you're in buster mode, you just... Take more damage and bar still dishing more damage. Mm -hmm. You can see right there, you know, that back good air. use of smash mode, back air connecting. Yeah, but I guarantee you if he got kicked by that monkey, uh that monkey flip kick, he would have exploded off the side. Oh, 
What's he doing? Oh, again, looking for a roll. Cool. I like just standing there and grabbing a forward throw off the edge. Oh, he's trying to set up a That's a, actually a really good lead trap from Elgin, but um, as you guys are not falling for it. Oh, what were you thinking? Well, I suppose if it hit, well, honestly, if it killed, I definitely would have popped off. But uh, really aggressive backslash, and again, we're seeing it. Ooh, up ooh, B. Not gonna die just yet. Town City again, really big stage, but. Yeah, up throw forward air. See a couple of down We're seeing more some damage. Diddy combos coming in. Wait a minute. Yeah, more damage. Oh, the forward air catches. He's not. Elegant opted not to reset on the platform. Yeah, just going in aggressive. Nah, SD got not gonna get too much of a punish. He did get banana and a four tilt for his trouble, so now he does control a. Uh, he, he, he has a better neutral now, so. Okay, Hannah's gone. Forward throw. We can find Elgin off base. Yep, forward of course, air. just chopping away with those forward airs. Covers such a wide range. So that's definitely that's definitely the one bad thing about this match, because Shulk does have that area to contest 3D if he's coming in. He just has to have a guess of where he's going to be, and he can throw out a hitbox and cover it. That's right. I mean, honestly, I would love to uh, to see Elgin stick it out with Luigi. Yeah, uh, yeah, like you said, he he did win game one with Luigi. It might it was probably closer than he uh, would have liked it to be, so that's why he wanted to at least experiment with the Diddy. But we're gonna go back to Luigi, and if it's any re anything reminiscent of game one, uh, Elgin did do really well. That's right, and of course, running right back to game one with uh, Smash or Battlefield. Can you wear the <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you can, but maybe, maybe not on Shulk. But I've seen it happen. That just looks so weird because like plunger, plunger. Right. That instant reload on the plunger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nair into forward air. Some bread and butter. Some SD down. Trying to clip through the stage, but doesn't find it. Oh, I like the snap to ledge. Oh no, yeah, you were way too close. I'm really surprised you went for that. Usually when you go for that uh that backslash you have to be higher up on higher up to catch the ledge. Okay, well, smash mode on cooldown, jump mode online. Okay, there it was. Yeah, okay, it, it still looks it looks as Oh he's not even us. done. That's oh. what I've been seeing a lot more of from like players are playing in Shulk and Shield now. And they'll go for these down tilts that will almost like put Shulk in a lock. Yeah. Wow, that fair actually caught him. And that's so important. When you are trying to combo uh, Shulk, you do have to know that at some point he's going to go into Shield. So you need to have like that contingency plan. All right, how do I keep him in lock? How do I extend this damage with uh, the lack of hit knockback that Shulk is going to take? And you see uh, Elegant fishing for his opening. Kind of fish the landing, but an F-Nash does connect. I do. I do like the way that Elgin puts out a, uh, I believe that's it. No, yeah, he doesn't have smash art. I do love the way uh, Elegant puts out the plungers on the ledge because it is like that falling hitbox, and if you're not ready, it could hit you and maybe take a jump or just caught, catch you off guard. Yeah, I think you guys out a lot of down on the ledge. But Elegant stalling this makes it very difficult to tell when he's actually going to make his recovery. Yeah, but SD God is actually getting a pretty good ledge guard, and as I say that, he lets Elegant back, but... He did get 61% for holding uh, Elegant at the ledge. Right, the forward air connects and oh, kind of. No, he there. missed the ledge. His back was to it. Oh, that's right. This is the best of three. Yeah, this is only one quarter. So Elegant gonna move on to one. SD God 